Okay, everyone, I'm on my way to the Apostolic Round Table. I'm in Atlanta, and in a few moments, a few minutes, I'll be getting uh, to, Atlanta, uh, to Lithonia, Harvest Tabernacle. We had a uh, great service last night, and I want to welcome all the new followers. A great service last night. It was phenomenal. Um, for those who may have viewed it live streaming, I preached on change and transition and affliction and new things and coming out of the old into the new and God wrapping up the old world. Psalm 102, the heavens and the earth being folded up and wrapped up and God changing them. Hebrews chapter one, Hebrews chapter eight. It was great. Uh, many of you, uh, God is changing your world, bring you out of the old world into the new world. And I talked about uh, how sometimes the old and new exist simultaneously like David and Saul. But David got stronger and stronger and, and Saul got weaker and weaker. So no matter how much the old fights the new, the, the, the new always gets stronger and stronger. And God is doing some new things. Um, um, I have my son with me. There he is. There's, there's, there's Jonathan. Okay, he's in, he's in music world. You know, as always, they're in uh, music world, and um, he's with me. He doesn't travel with me that much, um, but he's with me. Yeah, someone said my twin. He almost looks as good as me. Not quite, but he, he's almost there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's my, that's my oldest boy. I have four boys. That's my oldest boy, Jonathan, and he's with me here. Hello, hello, hello. And again, I'm in Atlanta, Crusaders. Don't forget tomorrow's service, 7859 South Ashton on the south side of Chicago. You know the address. I want to see you there tomorrow morning, okay, in the service. And um, uh, I am about to go into our apostolic round table. And um, yeah, the new always gets strong. I was talking about that 2 Samuel 3, 1. There was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but the house of uh, 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 David got stronger and stronger and the house of Saul got weaker and weaker when the old fights the new there may be a long war even the old you when it's fighting the new thing that God wants to do in your life uh, it, it, it may be a long battle because the old doesn't want to give up the old way of thinking the old way of doing things and um, but it says the, the house of Saul got weaker and weaker house of David got stronger and stronger and so even though you may be in a, be in a long battle um, I probably said last night the battle is coming to an end just like it ended and and Saul actually killed himself He fell on his sword um, Your enemies sometimes the things that fight you you don't have to kill them They'll kill themselves hating on you and dr. Hollins just talk about haters um, Why you need to really pray for them because by them hating on you They're really sticking the sword in themselves and there's some battles. You don't even need to fight and so that's what I ministered last night. It was a great, great time. I'm here with Apostle Travis Jennings in the Harvest Tabernacle. We had a lot of, quite a people coming out from all the Atlanta area. We had people coming from South Carolina. People flew in from Miami to be in the service. All over, all over Georgia, the Atlanta area. And uh, we have quite a number of people now about to come to the Apostolic Roundtable. I'll be teaching on the Apostolic Ministry, the importance of it, the prophetic ministry. So uh, I may show some of it um, when we get settled in. Just... To give those who may not have had a chance to attend a chance to come okay now a Georgia special to me because my father uh, was born in Georgia and is from Georgia uh, he's from Kennedy Georgia I think that's in Montgomery County I've never even been there but uh, my father was from Georgia so Georgia holds a special place in my heart and of course he moved to Chicago and I was born in Chicago but I was raised by southerners I was I had an auntie from Lumberton, Mississippi. If anybody's from Lumberton, let me know. That's almost near Louisiana, Lumberton, Mississippi. And my father was from uh, Kennedy, Georgia. Okay, so, and again, my father played in the Negro Leagues, played in Augusta, Georgia, and played for the Birmingham Black Barons with Willie Mays, professional baseball. So that's kind of my background. Um, but I didn't turn out to be a baseball player. I wasn't as good as him but I'm a better preacher than he was because he never preached. So uh, it's a give and take. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. So God bless all of you. Yeah. Yeah. Second Samuel three, one, 
There was long war between the house of David and the house of Saul. And the house of David grew stronger and stronger. The house of Saul grew weaker and weaker. That's the battle between the old and the new. Saul representing the old, David representing the new. There was a war. Saul was trying to defeat David, trying to keep the new. Sometimes your biggest battle is not your enemies or your haters, it's you. It's the old you, the old way of thinking, the old way of doing things. God wants to bring you into something new, but the old you will fight it. Um, but it, but, but as long as the war goes on, uh, the old gets weaker and weaker and the uh, haters love day and the, and the new gets stronger and stronger. Second Samuel chapter three and verse one, it's a, it's a powerful verse and one that you should meditate in. And so I want you to be encouraged. Um, the word we're getting for this month is unusual and also for next year is change. Um, a year of unusual and a year of change. Um, 2016 as we get ready to close out the year prophetically we're prophesying the unusual and we're prophesying change a lot of things are changing uh, a lot of people are transitioning some of the generals are leaving transitioning it's a new order uh, coming up they've done a great job but God is from generation to generation so it is it is exciting good morning to all of you um, those that are uh, coming on um, something about somebody dreaming about the Bulls my daughter is a Chicago Bulls fanatic Okay, and um, so um, I'm going to let you go and um, I'll be back with you and do another Periscope uh, when we come into uh, the Apostolic Roundtable. God bless you.